Alrighty then, uh, welcome back everyone to uh, the second vlog of my journey across Tibet. <laughs> I uh, hope you enjoyed watching the first one, and uh, if you haven't already seen it, I suggest you check it out. So, before we head in to see our friend Amber over there, uh, just a recap of what happened before we started adventuring here in Mondstadt where we saw a dragon of all things and it attacked the city of Mondstadt over there as you can see by the uh, tornado currently ravaging the city now we've been tasked with uh, trying to put an end to this attack by Storm Terror as we assist the members of the Knights of Pavonius in uh, finding a way to disrupt Storm Terror's power so uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go and see our friend Amber over here and see what she has to say. <laughs> this is it, one of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Wait, you say its own yes. temple? Yes. I also find it hard to accept, but Storm Terror was once one of the four winds. Huh. Huh? Wait, did you just feel that? Uh, feel what? Wind here. Something's off. Oh, is it? Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. Uh-oh. Well, after you, Amber. Everyone in Mondstadt is still getting blown about by the storm. Every second we waste is a mark against the name of Favonius. Let's get in that temple. Stat! Okay, let's do this. The Temple of the Falcon. Hmm. Whoa. What is this place? It looks like a really big cave. Wow. Interesting. Oh, well, let's uh, see what we find, I guess. You can use that console to open the door. Wow. Wow, I can see so far into the temple. Amber sure is useful, huh? barrels over there? Hmm. Well, one shot should be able to blow them up. Very convenient. 
We've helped Jean out. Yeah, that's true. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. Mm -hmm. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself. Yeah, it's a tall order, all right. The winds change. So too should our tactics. Oh, did you come up with that? It's what Lisa likes to say. Ah, oh, Lisa. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier... Yeah? If you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. Okay, I, I will. I'm not saying I don't know our history, it's just... I never said you didn't. I, I mean, a librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider, right? Yeah, we'll just uh, play along with that. Okay, so that was the uh, first temple, the Temple of the Falcon. Not too bad. Okay, so next up we have the second temple where we're supposed to meet Kaya, I believe. So uh, let's head over there and not keep him waiting too much longer. But uh, whew, these views sure are something. I mean, wow, just look at this place. There's so much of it. I wonder what significance that tree has over there. I'm sure we'll find out at some point. Hmm. What's that thing up there? Oh, Got it's it. one of those consolidated wind things. Wind things? Let's head back to the statue of the seven at Windrise and offer it to the gods. Window. Oh, well, I mean, you should come with me. Paimon will tell you about the rest later. Okay, I mean, this thing over here? Let's go check it out, I guess. <laughs> oh, there's another one just over there, too. Whoa. Wind blade. <laughs> Slimes. Nothing we can't handle, right, Paimon? Yeah, this must be the statue of the seven Paimon it's the statue spoke about. Of the seven. Let's make an offering and see if the gods respond. Mm, okay, sure thing. <laughs> oh, neat. Oh, look at that. Blessings of the Seven? In Mondstadt, people call them Animoculi. Animoculi? They can be fitted into the statue's eyes. His eyes, eh? 
Some stories say the statue's eyes originally had gems that were taken by swallows, but animaculi never had a physical form from the start. People with visions collect them to offer to the statues as blessings. I see. Unlike others with powers, you don't have a vision. But then the rules of this world don't apply to you anyway, so... Keep offering animaculi and maybe you'll receive more blessings. Okay, uh, I'll do just that. Thanks, Pylon. Good to know. <laughs> These statues sure are useful, aren't they? Okay, now that that distraction's over... Hang on. Right. As I was trying to say, now that that distraction's over, let's uh, not keep Kaya waiting any longer. <laughs> hmm, seems like there's some ruins ahead of us. I wonder what kind of history this place has. Now let's see, Kaya should be somewhere around here. Maybe over there? Yep, there he is. Hey, Kaya. You've arrived. I have. Come closer. Can you smell that? I can't really smell anything. Something must have happened in the temple. Oh? I imagine there will be slimes, hilly churls, and whatever's giving Storm Terror extra power. Yeah, we found one already with um, Amber. Oh yes. It is going to be lively in there indeed. Do you think it'll be dangerous? As bustling as it may be, no. I can't imagine it will be dangerous at all. Okay, that's good then. It's a pity that the Temple of the Wolf has been disturbed by such an atrocity. Temple of the Wolf, eh? Let's head in. Sure. No one makes offerings to the Four Winds anymore. Yet the old winds never vanish. Hmm. We need to clear out the temples. For the Four Winds. Okay, got it. My first chance to fight beside you. Yeah, let's uh, hope I don't disappoint you. Think we'll make a good team? I think we will. Hmm. The mountain sure looks ominous at night. Okay, let's go in. Hmm, similar to the Temple of the Falcon, but looks more cold. Hey, Kaya. Let me show you how the Knights of Favonius conquer our adversaries. You do that. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, the end of the temple should be up there. Okay. No Wait, problem. Wait, how do you know? <laughs> experience. Oh, you've been here before. The kind of experience you get after years of dealing with things like this for others. I see. Cool it! Get him! <laughs> huh? Traveler, unless I'm mistaken, you don't seem to have a vision. No, I don't. So how exactly is it that you're able to channel elemental energy? Uh, wouldn't I like to it know that? It was a very strange occurrence. Yeah. I'm not sure myself, to be honest, but maybe we'll find out together. Ah, oh, finally, we're here. Seems the path ends here. Let's use the wind currents to fly up. Sure thing. Oh, no, 
for one of those things. Idea. That's some keen observation. We should get Jean to give you a title and make you a knight. Freeze! Oh. Neat. Speaking of, did you know? Storm Terror was once one of the four winds. Oh, don't say. I'm not aware of the exact details. If you're interested, you can ask the acting Grand Master about it. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. that's what we're here for. Is that the thing that Storm Terror is using to gain its power? Seems probable. Let's deal with it. Okay. Bravo! What a performance! You are, to my surprise, a well trained knight. Well, thank you. The battles you just fought were sights to behold. Thanks, that's uh, nice of you to say. <laughs> I see you already have the knightly virtue of modesty. Stories of your heroic deeds to save Mondstadt from destruction shall be known throughout the City of Freedom, well into the future. Wow, we still have to save Mondstadt first. Please do visit me at our headquarters when you have the time. Mm, okay. I also know a lovely tavern, if that's more your thing. Hmm, maybe. Quite rewarding, no? We've seized another temple from Storm Terror's grasp. I can take care of the rest here. You go take care of other things while I'm at it. See you later then, bye-bye. Yeah, we'll see you around. There's no way Hilly Churls organize an ambush like this themselves. Not with their limited mental capacity. <laughs> Thus you were behind this. Knights of Aphonius, always so inefficient. Agree to disagree, but... Your involvement in this just made things a whole lot more interesting. Okay then, that's the uh, Temple of the Wolf dealt with. That's two out of three temples down. Now, time for the third temple with uh, Lady Lisa over there. So, uh, let's get to it. I guess we can use the other air current over there that we activated earlier. Hmm. I wonder what this thing is. Interesting. Whoa, where did you come from? Go, go, Baron, but no one escapes my sight. Dodge this! for me. Right then, let's uh, ride this wind current. Wow, look at the view. It's amazing. Oh, well, there's another animaki. Let's just grab that real quick. Wow, look at this place. It's incredible. That storm doesn't look like it's getting any better. I guess we should hurry up. Okay, this seems to be the temple. Lisa should be just over here. Hey, Lisa. Hey, cutie. You're going to help me out too? How kind of you. Oh, you're welcome. Don't hesitate to come to me if you need anything. 
So why would a librarian be at the ruins? Hmm. Good question. Well, because Jean trusts me. Fair enough. So you should as well. I never said I didn't. Okay, that's the Temple of the Lion. Oh, look at this. Very pretty. I guess I could give this a go. I knew it. There is a strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Another one. Paimon, huh? are you able to float across? Can't do much even if she does. Good point. We'd better start looking for a way to get up there then. So cool. Leave it to me. Come a little closer. <sighs> it's an electro monument. No wonder. Let me try to activate it with a bit of electro power. Stand back, sweeties. Do your thing, Lisa. <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Don't be such a brute. Hit. Wet enemies, I've got them covered. Oh, another wind current. Let's ride it up from here. Come a little closer. <laughs> Come a little closer. You've been a naughty boy. Surrender and I'll be gentle. Free. Chain lightning can be set off between electrocharged opponents. The electrical discharge caused by friction is only a little less shocking than love at first sight. Mm, just a little bit. Oh. You want to know about this gem? You're kidding. You're seriously asking? This is a vision. It's used by the Chosen to draw on elemental powers. Oh, so that's In terms of mysticism, I suppose you could call it a magical lightning rod. What? You've never seen a vision? Just where exactly are you from? Are you not a hilly churl with some level of reasonable intelligence? I'm not no, sure what to make I of that. It. After all, hilly churls aren't exactly known for their smarts. And you, you more or less qualify to be a magister's apprentice. Oh, you think so? Oh, there's another one. Break it, and we can head home and relax. <sighs> the thought of putting my feet up and relaxing has me all fired up. Dragon of the East, Lion of the South, Wolf of the North, Falcon of the West. Dragon, Lion, Wolf, and Falcon, eh? They are the four winds of Mondstadt, affiliated with Barbados, the god of Animo. Barbados, you say? The Dragon of the East, Storm Terror, its real name is Devalin. 
into Varden. Though most in Mondstadt seem to have forgotten that in all this storm terror business. Yeah. So now you know why Devalin is only able to channel three of the four winds' power. Oh, because it is the fourth wind. Right. Because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. What? Why? Why would it go to such lengths? Because of hatred, I presume. Oh. Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Oh no. Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself. To become storm terror. But why would one of the four winds hate the city it was supposed to protect? Yeah. Uh... As a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Oh? Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century ago. Okay. The uh, third temple dealt with. Let's uh, head on now. Oh wow! The storm's gone. Ah, finally. Oh, it's finally done. Sure is. Well, all that lay flow and elemental line stuff Lisa was going on about should hopefully be back to normal. Want to go back and see how the knights are doing? Yeah, sure thing. But if you've got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. Yeah, we'll head back for now. By the way, we obtained another animunculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? Oh, did we? We might come across more of them in the future, so don't forget to offer them to the statues. Okay, Paimon. Okay, so before we head back to our uh, monster, let's uh, check out that book that Lisa gave us, shall we? Okay, so Breeze Amidst the Forest, Volume 2, The Dragon, an excerpt from An Investigation into the Cultural Customs of the Wind Kingdom, more commonly known as Records of Customs and Culture, by Jacob Musk. Okay, so, the wolf of the Night of Boreas, the lion of the Lion Fang Knight, or Dandelion Knight, the falcon of the Night of Pavonius, and the wind dragon, Devalin, have been long regarded as the four winds that watch over Mondstadt. After the Lion Fang Knight liberated Mondstadt, the Knights of Pavonius was established, and... The Knight of Boreas joined them. The tradition of worshipping the Four Winds was gradually formed in Mondstadt. However, the Valen, the ancient wind dragon, predated them all. Approximately 100 years ago, the land was in chaos. Darkness spread, contaminating everything it touched. Barbarians and foul creatures roamed the lands, forcing people to dwell within the city walls. It was an especially difficult time for Mondstadt. The Lion Fang Knight was without a suitable heir, and the Knights of Favonius had lost many of its brave men and women during the bitter wars. During the most difficult of times, Jorin, the corrupted dragon of immeasurable power, began attacking Mondstadt. Oh no. The prayers of Mondstadt's people awoke the animal archon, and his will summoned forth the wind dragon, Devalin. As the last defender of Mondstadt, Devalin battled Jorin with all his might. The result was clear. Jorin's remains still lie atop the snowy peaks to the south of Mondstadt, but the story of how the battle ended was lost in time. It is said that Devalin ripped out Jorin's throat, oh, lovely, and together they fell from the sky. Jorin's body sunk into the snow while Devalin was summoned by the animal archon and fell into a slumber. People used to believe that Devalin would awaken whenever Mondstadt faces a new threat, but in these times of peace, the belief of the Four Winds has gradually eroded, and their temples lie all but completely deserted. Huh. 
A citation of unknown origin, by the time the knights finally discovered that the foreign monstrosity named Storm Terror, with which they had clashed countless times, was in fact Dvalin of the Four Winds, the enmity that had grown between them and driven them to conflict could not be undone. One can scarcely imagine the betrayal Dvalin must have felt when he awoke after a hundred years of slumber, only to find that the people of Mondstadt, whom he protected with his life, had forsaken him. Hmm. Well, that was the book that Lisa gave us, so... It turns out there was another dragon, Joran. They fought together, both Dvalin and Joran, upon those snowy peaks up there. Oh. Wow, I wonder if we'll ever be able to see that for ourselves. But anyway, that's a story for another day. I think that about wraps things up for today, so I uh, hope you've enjoyed this vlog of mine, and uh, as usual, I'll uh, touch some selfies I took along the way for you to have a look at at the end here. Anyway. For now, I uh, guess I'll uh, see you around. Yeah, take care.